A knee to the jaw. He caught. In the scripted world of pro wrestling, real hatred between WWE superstars is not a rarity. However, when these personal issues boil to the highest degree, they result in actual fighting between the wrestlers. Hello everyone, I'm Emily May, and here are five wrestling matches that turned into real fights. Number five. Goldberg gets schooled by Steven Regal. Goldberg has a reputation for not always being a great worker in the ring. During his peak in WCW, he was presented as a monstrous athlete who could not be defeated. Most of his matches were not long as he quickly finished his opponents with his signature moves. However, on the February 9th, 1998 edition of WCW's Nitro, Goldberg squared off with Steven Regal, aka William Regal, and things got more real than expected. Unlike any of his previous his opponents, Regal employed the use of technical wrestling moves that Goldberg wasn't familiar with. A combination of stiff uppercuts and hard body kicks by Regal left Goldberg visibly confused. For years, fans believed that this was a real brawl, but in his book, Walking a Golden Mile, Regal claimed he was asked to do this and give Goldberg the stiff test. He further said that after the match, Goldberg apologized to him for not picking up the cues, and the two men shook hands. Number 4. JBL Makes the Blue Meanie Bleed This real-life fight got ugly real fast. In 2005, WWE tried to revive the ECW brand by holding a pay-per-view called ECW One Night Stand. A bunch of WWE and ECW stars appeared on the show, but it was John Bradshaw Layfield who made the news. JBL was slated to appear in a brawl inside the ring that involved several other wrestlers, but he already had his target in mind. Before this match, Blue Meanie had called JBL a bully in an interview, and the word got to Bradshaw. When the bell rang, Bradshaw went after Meanie with extremely stiff shots. Appearing on the Talk is Jericho podcast seven years ago, Meanie said that First, JBL punched him hard on his scar. He then proceeded to throw punches at Meanie with a fistful of rings. Meanie responded by trying to put Bradshaw in a headlock until the two men were separated. In the end, Meanie revealed that WWE stitched him up and gave him double pay for the night. Number 3. Brock Lesnar Fires Back at Braun Strowman on paper, the match between Brock Lesnar, Kane, and Braun Strowman at the Royal Rumble 2018 event was going to be explosive. And it delivered on that promise in a very real way, as the fight between two of the three heavyweights got very real. The incident happened between Brock Lesnar and Braun Strowman. In the middle of the match, Brock clashed with Braun, and each tried to one-up the other. Both laid on strong moves on each other until Braun seemingly hit Brock with a very stiff knee to the face. This visible pissed off Lesnar as he immediately responded with two hard punches to Strowman that got the monster among men down to his knees. In an interview with TalkSport in 2019, Strowman revealed that both superstars laughed it off backstage, and the former WWE Intercontinental Champion admitted his fault of messing with the Beast Incarnate. Number 2. Sexy Star Dislocates Rosemary's Shoulder While trying to expand its audience in August of 2017, wrestling promotion Lucha Libre AAA Worldwide broadcasted the Triple Mania 25 event free on Twitch. It featured a four-way match between Sexy Star Rosemary, Ayoka Amada, and Lady Shani. The match ended up making Sexy Star the talk of the town, for all the wrong reasons. After taking a chair shot early in the match, Sexy Star returned with all guns blazing. She busted open Lady Lady Shawnee, but she didn't stop there. To end the match, she locked a vicious armbar on Rosemary and didn't let go until she legitimately dislocated Rosemary's shoulder. Sexy Star received backlash from the wrestling world online, with many wrestlers coming to Rosemary's defense. Later, Sexy Star's victory was disqualified, and AAA stripped her of the Reina del Reina's championship for her actions toward Rosemary. Number 1. Daniel Pewter Almost Breaks Kurt Angle's Arm one of the most infamous real life fight incidents is the one between Kurt Angle and Daniel Pewter. Pewter was trained in mixed martial arts and decided to try his hand at WWE's Tough Enough. However, he made a big blunder trying to make a name for himself against the Olympic gold medalist. On the November 4th, 2004 edition of SmackDown, Kurt Angle challenged the contestants of Tough Enough to best him in the ring, and Pewter took this very seriously. When he sparred with Kurt, he immediately put Angle into a devastating Kimura lock. 
This wasn't what Angle had planned, and Pewter almost broke Kurt's arm. The situation ended when the referee quickly counted to three as Pewter's shoulders were down due to the Kimura, giving Angle the victory. Kurt was visibly livid and was seen shouting at Pewter. In an interview with the Hannibal TV in 2021, Kurt revealed that he was just upset that the planned finish didn't happen. WWE management weren't happy either, and within a few months, Daniel Pewter vanished from the main roster. Thank you all so much for watching. Please follow, like, and subscribe.